Today, we are finally putting an end to the age-old question, what is better, the Phantom or the Vandal? As someone who is a well-established Immortal Phil player, I have experience on every agent and obviously every map in Valorant. So in this video, my goal is to help you understand where the Phantom and the Vandal have the most advantages based on what agent you main, what map you're playing, and your overall playstyle. We'll start this video by comparing the two weapons, and there are quite a few differences here, some of them being more subtle than others. To start with the obvious, the Vandal one taps at all ranges, and that's why it's a lot of people's favorite weapon. With the Vandal, you don't have to worry about dinking someone and not getting that full kill at extremely long ranges. And that's the main and only advantage to the Vandal. When you look at the advantages to the Phantom, you have a faster fire rate, more bullets per magazine at 30 bullets versus the Vandal's 25. You have slightly better first shot accuracy. The Vandal's inaccuracy is 0.25, whereas the Phantom's is just 0 0.20. You have better movement accuracy in close range fights when you're running and gunning compared to the Vandal. And the largest and most important difference between the Phantom and Vandal to me is the fact that the Phantom doesn't have bullet tracers. Now, if you're in really low elo, you might not even know what this means. But because the Phantom has a suppressor on the end of the barrel, when you're shooting your weapon directly through a smoke, you can't see where the shot is coming from. Contrary to the Vandal, you can see the exact location of where the person is shooting from, making it really easy to counter spam when someone's shooting through a smoke. Now, of course, the disadvantage to the Phantom is that there's damage drop off at long ranges. From 0 to 15 meters, the Phantom does 156 damage, which still one taps the opponent. But when you step back from 15 to 30 meters, it only does 140 damage, meaning you have to hit your opponents twice in order to get the kill. Taking a look even further at 31 meters and above, and the Phantom does 124 damage, but this doesn't matter all that much because no matter where you connect the opponent, as long as one of the two shots is a headshot, two bullets will still kill them. Now that we know the advantages to each weapon, I'll walk you guys through how I actually apply those statistics based on a few different factors within Valor. Those different factors being the map that I'm playing, the agent that I'm playing, where on the certain map that I'm playing, and of course, my play style. To start, this isn't an argument of the Vandal is a head tap weapon and the Phantom is a spray weapon. That argument is incredibly invalid as it's better to fire in short bursts with small strafes in between with both weapons, not just the Vandal. So let's set that clear first. Let's start by diving into how the map influences whether I pick the Phantom or the Vandal. While the agent I'm playing is typically the number one determinant of what weapon I want to pick, there are certain maps where I'll exclusively use one or the other. For example, example, on Icebox, I almost always lean toward the Vandal because of the fact that on A site, there are so many different glitchy headshot angles where I'm going to always want to finish the kill with a one tap than ever have to worry about dinking someone and not finishing that kill off. Additionally, when you take a look at that A site on Icebox, you typically just have a Viper wall that cuts off screens. And other than that one spot from screens to site, that's the only spot where you can actually get a spray kill through smokes to take advantage of the Phantom having no tracers in the first place. And for those reasons, Icebox is always a Vandal map for me. But if we move things over to a map like Haven, this is where the agent that I'm playing matters way more than the physical map itself. For example, if I'm the controller for my team and we're defending, it's super common for the smokes player to anchor C site on this map. So if I'm jump peeking C long from the back of C site and I spot the enemy team scaling up, throwing a smoke to the choke point to block them from entering site, I would much rather have a phantom in this situation than a vandal. Because the lane from C long is so narrow, I can spray through this smoke and it's very, very likely that I'm going to get a spam kill here because of how tight that lane is. But if I was using a vandal in this situation, then I would immediately get spammed back by the attacking team because my location is revealed by the tracers when spraying through a smoke. Contrarily, if I'm playing an initiator or even a duelist on this map, then I'm much more likely to opt for the Vandal because there are going to be much fewer scenarios where I'm actually relying on spraying through smokes for kill. And having that one tap ability on long ranges, especially when fighting for map control on places of the map like A long, then I'd much rather have that one tap ability than dinking someone for 140 damage from such long range. If we take a look at another agent like Chamber, this is someone that'll almost exclusively rock the Vandal with. Regardless of whether you're offing or not, your job is to take aggressive angles and quickly TP out. And in taking these aggressive angles, you want to take a quick one or two shots and instantly TP out so you can have a better chance of getting a first blood for a round without sacrificing a first death toward the other team. And the reason I find myself catering toward the Vandal on an agent like Chamber is because the last thing I want to do when taking this quick aggressive peek is dink someone, TP out, and not get the kill, then allowing the other team to heal with a Sage or a Sky. Even on a map like Breeze, this is widely considered a Vandal map by the majority of the Valorant community because it caters toward long range gunfights. But in my honest opinion, if I'm defending on A site and the enemy team continuously uses the Viper wall that cuts the site in half, then oftentimes I'll actually cater toward the Phantom on this map because it allows a lot more of a possibility of spamming through the Viper wall while the enemy team is entering to site. And as I mentioned earlier, if I were to do this with a Vandal, then I'm going to get sprayed right back through that Viper wall. Now, of course, it's incredibly unrealistic for me to go through every single agent on every single map and tell you guys where I would use the Phantom and where I would use the Vandal. But that's why I'm giving you some of these examples. I'm giving 
you the reasons behind why I would actually make these decisions and cater toward each weapon in that given scenario. So at the end of the day, I want you to apply this reasoning to your own gameplay so you can make these decisions for yourself, depending on how you play on each specific map. I know a lot of you guys came to this video for a locked in 100% answer on whether the Phantom or Vandal is better, but the ultimate reality of this game is that each weapon is better in its own respective scenarios, and it's up for you to apply them to your own game. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm an immortal fill player, and I'm always playing different agents and filling for my team, depending on what we need at the beginning of the game. So if you ever want to catch some of the live action, you can head over to my live stream at twitch.tv forward slash the ones DK. I'll have the link down in the description below. I'm live Monday through Friday at 1030 AM Eastern time. I'm super proud about the fact that I interact with my chat a lot while still playing at a high level. So come to the chat and say what's up. And I look forward to seeing you there. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on the bell for post notifications. So you know when I post a video every single Sunday. And with that being said, guys, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Peace.